Hi everyone, this is the next part of Daisy Saves the Day. It was a very long journey into the city, first by train and then a weary walk from the station. At last, they arrived at the house where the Mrs Sims lived. It was a tall house in a row of other tall houses, with lace curtains in every window except for the attic. They went down the basement steps to the back door and rang the bell. The parlour maid answered. So, you're the new scullery maid, she said, looking Daisy up and down. Bit young for the job, aren't you? She's a very good worker, said Mum anxiously. You'd better start right away then. There's plenty to do, I can tell you. Daisy was very sad to say goodbye to Mum, but she bravely managed not to cry. Soon she was wearing a cap and a big apron over her blue cotton dress and was set to work washing dishes, scouring saucepans and peeling potatoes for the cook. Miss Jessie and Miss Margaret Sims were quite old. They sat in the front parlour by a big coal fire. When they wanted something, they rang the bell for the parlour maid, whose name was Ellen. She did a lot of running up and down the stairs, which made her cross. But not as cross as Cook, who toiled endlessly over the big hot kitchen range, preparing meals and baking scones and cakes. Daisy was not very good at housework, but she worked very hard. She swept the stairs and carried buckets of coal for the fires and helped with the laundry. She scrubbed the front doorstep and polished the knocker till it shone. This looks very nice, Daisy, said Miss Jessie encouragingly, as she and Miss Margaret were setting out for their morning walk. Thank you, ma'am, Daisy replied, remembering to bob a curtsy. <laughs>